Good morning and good afternoon, everybody out there. We're happy that you're joining us um, at this point in time. I'd like to take the next 10 minutes to introduce to you our product innovations and updates as far as they relate to the Postgres packaging market. So uh, let's get started here. Let's take a look back here. Over the last four years, we were able to increase our overall portfolio in Postgres packaging products together with our partner Masterwork, MK, by over 100%. We have today more than double as many products than we had four years ago. This very rapid speed of product introductions will not cease, but we will rather dwell on that and improve even further. So we are introducing at Drupal a couple of new machines and uh, we are introducing new machines in all segments and at all different automation levels. So let's take a look at the first machine and I already kind of gave it away. Let me go back and forth again so you see it again. We are introducing a new laser die cutter um, in the format of 70 by 100 or 41 inches. We are also improving the performance of our duo press with a new duo press power that allows us to increase speeds by 15% and also we are upgrading our control system on that machine. And we are improving our overall productivity on the Diana Smart series with a Diana Smart speed option that will allow us to run up to 600 meter a minute and then in combination with a packer and robotic loading Obviously, the robotic loading can be used on any kind of Diana system, so you can also use it on the Diana X. You might have noticed that I jumped one process step, and that is die cutting. And on die cutting, we also have product introductions to announce. We are bringing to market the Power Matrix 106 CSB, as well as the Pro Matrix 145, our first format six die cutter, a 57 inch blanker. Above this all though, is our layer of uh, data ready, or Postgres data ready. That is a common interface that my colleague Stefan already described to you, and it hasn't changed what it is. It's still a common interface um, that we defined that is open to any other MIS system for analysis. Let's get started and take a look at new product introductions here. We're starting off with the Digimatrix LR, our digital die cutter. We are using multiple laser heads to cut a sheet according to the digital information we are receiving. So there are no tool tooling costs for the die on this machine. We are integrated in our Prenect workflow so that we can easily convert data and adjust our cutting pr process. The cutting time itself and the machine speed will greatly depend on how much cutting there is to do. If you have a lot of cut lines, it's slowing the machine down. If it's very simple cut lines, are very straightforward, you know, the machine will produce faster. The specific element that makes this machine special, though, is not necessarily the fact that we're using multiple laser heads, but rather that we have an individual scoring unit that is positioned between the feeder and the actual cutting unit itself. And you see it actually on the image uh, on the screen at this little, um, little unit that sits just before the cutting station. A uh, plate can be mounted there. Uh, very quickly so that you can still take advantage of uh, very short run job opportunities in the packaging market. The format matches up perfectly with our Prime Fire. The same format, full size 41 inch, that also matches up with our Speedmaster XL 106, is also true for our Power Matrix 41 inch performance blanking machine. It uh, uses um, a pallet logistics system in the feeder. It uh, has an automatic non-stop feeder. You're all uh, used to that kind of technology. And then as, you, as we go down the list that I have here created for the highlights, we are coming to Master Set. Master Set is our optical in-feed in registration system. We are reading either three print marks or we are actually reading the actual printed image if it is suitable to be read and then position each sheet individually based on the sensor readings. We have the dynamic cutting pressure control here as well. Dynamic cutting pressure control basically takes care of the fact that if there is no sheet in the cutting station and the tool still comes down, that tool, uh, the cutting pressure is automatically reduced by 20 to 30 tons. It's operator adjustable. What's the effect? The effect is that if there's no sheet, we have no contact between the tool and the cutting plate, thereby enlarging your tool life. 
There are no sheets in the cutting station, for instance, when you have a tie sheet insertion or a pallet change in the delivery. Let's move on to our format 6 size die cutter, the Pro Matrix 145. Pro Matrix 145 is in the same performance segment, so you'll find the same features just like auto non-stop feeder, pallet logistics systems, master set, dynamic cutting pressure control, and on both machines, but I saved it just for this to explain, a sample sheet table. So both machines, the Power Matrix as well as the Pro Matrix 145, have a sample sheet table. What does it do? Typically, if in a blanking operation you want to check for quality, you have to stop the machine, open the window at the stripping station, hope that you stopped at the right space, in the right place, and then release the sheet, pull it out, close the window, check the sheet, restart the machine, and that's your process. It's very, it it, 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 it uh, stops production, and it's very laborious. In both of our machines that I just described, we can just push a button during production, the machine will slow down to around about 4,000 sheets an hour, and a sample sheet will be pulled through the machine. That is die cut, stripped, but it passes through the blanking station without any activity, and then is presented to the operator on the special sheet extraction table, so that then the, uh, the quality can be checked without stopping productivity, pro production. The advantage here is that we maintain the dynamic component of the punching process and of the stripping process as well as of the blanking process. So we are providing a better image of what the actual quality is that's being produced. On our dual press power, we also have several upgrades. But first of all, what's a dual press? A dual press is not a printing press, and Rainer might have thought it's a printing press, as we have dual presses as well on our sheet fed side. But in our case, it is basically a machine that has two cutting stations, two cutting stations relating to the dual press, um, for the simple reason that you can foil in the first station, foil or emboss as a matter of fact, and then uh, go on to the normal cutting, creasing procedure, stripping and blanking. On this machine now, we have a couple of new technology updates in terms of the gripper bar technology and the control, and together that allows us to bring the speed up to 7,000 sheets an hour. When you compare that to regular operations of a, of a foiling, hot foiling machine, typically running at 3,500 to 5,000 an hour, that is a m major increase in productivity because it's a one-pass productivity. You don't have to put the sheet another time through a die cutter once it's been hot foiled. So, very nice machine. If you're in that high luxury segment of hot foiling, it is a one-pass productivity to a blanked product. Once the product is blanked, we want to make sure you can uh, finish it. And that's obviously happening with our Diana folding cotton glues. And uh, here we are focusing on two elements. One element is speed, as you can see. And so hold that thought for a moment here. So speed, we are increasing by 33% the speed of our Diana Smart as an option to up to 600 meter a minute. Hold that thought about the speed and productivity. We'll come to that back on the last and next slide. But before we get to the last slide, I'd like to take the opportunity to talk about inline integration here. And that is actually inline integration with our Diana Inspector. For many years now, we have a very nice offline high-end inspection machine called the Diana Eye. The Diana I uses a patented light dome technology to analyze sh uh, blanks that are on metalized board, that are just color and print quality, but also hot foil, cold foil, spot gloss, braille, crease lines, you name it. We can, you, you can print it, we can inspect it. And you can print it on any kind of board, and we can inspect it on a wide range of board here as well. This inspector is now based on this Diana Eye technology and comes also with a PDF comparison. So rather than going through a complete make-ready process that's all manual, you can just use the PDF as a master and then start your inspection based on the PDF information. This Diana inspector is not only available on the Diana Smart, but also on the Diana Easy. 
Last not least, one quick word about the Braille unit that is becoming more important in certain markets around the world where we are increasing or where we are decreasing the make ready times uh, just by the simple fact that we, have, that we provide the operator with full register control. So as, he's line, as he or she is lining up the, uh, <coughs> uh, the two tools, uh, the upper and the lower tool, we actually can move the lower tool uh, around the cross cylinder and across the, the cylinder uh, for a faster make ready. Now let's focus on our, our productivity topic again. Uh, the Diana Packer 4.0 is also new at Drupa and will be actually in all locations uh, where we are exhibiting. And at that point, we are integrated into the folder glue. So the complete information about the box geometry only needs to be entered once and not once at the folder glue, but end at the Diana Packer. So the information is transferred from the Diana folder glue to the Packer cutting down make-ready times and making the machine ever more productive. And last not least, ever more productive, if you are looking at running at 400, sorry, 600 meter an hour with up to 200,000 cartons an hour, you need support for your operators. No operator is hand packing that anymore, nor is any operator feeding that. So at Drupa, we're gonna show for the first time a robot that is actually feeding a Diana Smart. And then we have also capabilities to expand beyond our Packer 4.0 with uh, Pallet, um, uh, yeah, uh, beyond, four point, beyond our Packer 4.0 with a carton erector that automatically erects the outer cartons. And then also with uh, additional components that close these cartons, label the cartons, palletize the cartons via another robot, and then eventually even shrink wrap those and palletize them and put them out for your customers to be delivered. So I hope that was enough information to, to interest you to visit us uh, very shortly in, uh, at Drupa or in one of our uh, showrooms. I wish you all the best luck and stay tuned for our next presentation about our Heidelberg app.